Hello students, in this video we'll show that for a non-negative continuous function the, that achieves its maximum value on a closed interval that the LP norms converge to the L infinity norm. So let's let f be non-negative and continuous on the interval AB and let's let and let M capital be the maximum for X and AB of this function F of X, okay? Then, if we know this maximum exists because the interval is compact, that exists by compactness, then the integral from A to B of F of X to the P dx to the 1 over P, so this is just the LP norm of the function, so just the LP norm, FLP, converges as P goes to infinity. As P goes to infinity, this is going to converge to F and L infinity, which is the L infinity norm is just the maximum of the function on the interval over here. Okay, so it's L infinity norm with, over the interval AB. Okay, so one um, inequality is easy. So here's the easy inequality. So here's the proof of this fact. So because succinctly we have for basically for any finite space, finite measure space, we should have the case that the LP norms of the function converge to the L infinity norm if the function is actually in L infinity, which in this case it is. Okay. So here's the proof. The proof goes as follows. So um, clearly the integral from A to B of f of x to the power P dx is less than or equal to m to the p, I make the function as big as possible, making it m, so it'll be an m to the p, and then just times b minus a. Okay. So now if I raise this inequality to the 1 over p, so the integral from a to b f of x to the power p dx to 1 over p is less than or equal to m, taking the p through this thing, then b minus a to the p, 1 over p. Now, of course, as p goes to infinity, this goes to 0 over here. So b minus a to the power of 0 is going to be 1. So the, or the limit, what this limit is going to be, this tells me that the limit as p goes to infinity of the LP norms is less than or equal to the L infinity norm. That's the bound we just proved over here. Now, the second part, we have to sort of squeeze the area, squeeze a small area where the function is um, non negative, right? Or not close to its maximum. So let's let epsilon be greater than 0 and less than m, and then pick a point z in a, b. If it's a or b, it's sort of a mixed problem simple. Um, if z is in a, b such that m minus epsilon is less than f of z, okay? Great. And then, since this is the case, I can find a small enough, so by the, by the continuity now, I can find a small enough neighborhood of this point Z inside the interval AB, such that the fun, this inequality persists, right? Then choose delta greater than zero, such that, such that this uh, interval Z minus delta to Z plus delta is contained in AB, and the function f of z, f of y, is going to be bigger than m minus epsilon for y in this set. Again, I'm choosing the continuity there. z minus delta to z plus delta. Okay. Now, the final step is we integrate over that region. So if I look at the integral, from um, just z minus delta up to z plus delta of m minus epsilon to the power p dx. Well, on this interval over here, we know the function exceeds m minus epsilon, so this is less than or equal to the integral from z minus delta to z plus delta of just f of x, f of x to the power p dx. And now, of course, I can raise this thing to the power 1 over p, right? So, of course, and this, is, this thing is less than or equal to the full integral from a to b of f of x to the power p dx. Now, raising things to the 1 over p, I'm going to have this thing to the 1 over p, and this thing to the 1 over p. 
And now what do I have over here? So now I'm going to have 2 delta, 2 delta to the 1 over p, m minus epsilon is less than or equal to the LP norm of the function f, like so. And now as I let p go to infinity, as p goes to infinity, this implies that m minus epsilon is less than or equal to the limit as p goes to infinity of the LP norms of f. And so in particular, that's true for every epsilon. So our conclusion, therefore, is that this is always bigger than or equal to m minus epsilon. So this limit has to be equal. It's sandwiched between m minus epsilon and m for every epsilon. Therefore, the limit exists, and the LP norms converge to the L infinity norm in this case. Thank you very much.